Cuckoo's Podcast. Free Cuckoo's Podcast. Free Cuckoo's Podcast. Free Cuckoo's Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Three Cuckoo's Podcast Talks Broadchurch, Season 3, Episode 3, or Series 3, Episode 3, because we're from the UK. Yeah. You are? Yeah, Season 3. Really yeah, absolutely. So the question isn't, what do we talk about? The question is, where the hell do you start with Broadchurch this week? So you've got, obviously, Miller and Hardy in top form again. Absolutely on fire this week, oh, weren't they? Brilliant. They were super. Amazing together. Absolutely fantastic together. But we finally figured out the size of their task this week. Um, and they even put it on a board, didn't they? They did. They did. So there is probably a 50th birthday party. Yeah. And it's Bill was a 50th there's probably 50 guys... At the party. Now, we said last week, didn't we? Or was it your revelation that you had in your head that it might have been more to this party than meets the eye? Um, yeah. I don't, yeah. I tend to think it's some kind of swinger sex party kind of thing oh. that they have quite often. Yeah. Now, it, it turns out that a lot of people think this as well. On Twitter. Oh, really? Yes. A lot of people thought this. Keys in a ball, all that stuff. Yeah, and there was a few comments this week, wasn't there? So well, there was last week as well that... Charlie Higson's character said last week that she'd been cavorting with several men. Do you not remember? At the and party. That's why he had the words with her outside. Yeah. Right, okay. He said that last week. So do you think it was that was the part that wasn't the party's aim though, was it? Because the guy in the Maybe. band never said anything, did he? Well why well, well no. No, I don't which, suppose so. Which you probably thought that would have come into it, you know. I've never played a party like that before. Unless you're involved. But maybe I think a, a few of them are. Mm. Mm. And they all decided at some point to go out into the into the gardens <laughs> and have some kind of sexathon <laughs> in the yard. An orgy. Yes. If you will. Yes. A sexathon. A sexathon. <laughs> that would be an all night thing, wouldn't it? Oh no. <laughs> um Yeah, so it's it's a really strange one this week. Um so they had it in for the taxi driver this week. Big time. He's prime suspect number one. Yeah, with all good reason. Because mm. um, he's a very shady character and he's lying <clears throat> constantly. Not only to them, but also to his... We found out later oh. on that, of course, he's married. His missus. And he cheats on his missus all the time. Oh, she is a broken woman. Yeah, she's got problems, huh? Well, she has got problems. I mean, <laughs> she's so... she. I don't know if she's strong. Or weak. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. It's like, is she so weak that she won't say anything? Or is she so strong that she she's she's over this, you know? Yeah. She's bigger than this. It's obviously been happening for so long. Exactly. But then his son looks dodgy. Her son, sorry, looks dodgy. Oh, because, yeah. right, nice okay. One. Yeah, so we got to, uh, obviously we found out that Ellie's son is watching porn and he's been suspended from school. Just trying to make sense of all Yeah, this so <laughs> Ellie's son is watching porn on his phone from school and he finds his phone in her room, wants it back, and then decides to show his friend this scene that he's got on his mm. phone. In the middle of the road. Yeah. Like you do. We've all been there, Mark. Um, it's the only place I'll watch porn. <laughs> it's in the, the country, pl- middle of a country road. The place I prefer to watch porn. The wind blowing in you. Hair. Hair, good, yes. Um, <laughs> so, but he specifically said, "Have you seen it yet?" Mm. I have. I've mm. seen it. Mm. And so, suddenly, you're asking your question: What are they watching? Yeah. Well, it's like you know, when every time Hardy and Miller interview someone and they drive away, the person they've interviewed is always watching them yep. suspiciously out the window. So you That's immediately think it's them. <laughs> so then, when, so they were watching that obviously yeah. in the middle of the yeah. road, and you immediately think. They're watching a recording of that woman getting raped. Of the scene, yeah. And it, it that's what it made it look like. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of got to have significance, then, hasn't it? if it was, didn't Miller watch part of it um, when she was in the school? It might not have been that clip. No, I, don't suppose. I, mean, I thought the same thing. They got on his fucking phone. I thought they said, well, if it had been raped, she'd have gone mental. Well. It would have been fairly obvious, wouldn't it? Maybe she's involved. Uh, don't. Don't. <laughs> Let her eat a scotch egg. In peace. Eat your stupid scotch egg. Miller! Oh, some very funny parts in it. It was brilliant. Them two were excellent. It was, it's so hard to make sense of it. Because it's just, it's everyone. Well, yeah, because we also had Charlie Higson scooting around, didn't we? Yeah. So he turns up on her doorstep yep. to say that he still loves her mm. um, and that he's sorry for, his, what, for what's happened. But why? Not necessarily that he's done it, but 
you know, she is his ex-wife. They they must have loved each other at some guilty point. Conscience. I don't know, and that's what they want you to think. Mm. They want you to think it's guilty conscience. Well, plus, plus the revelation then, of course, he went down to the to the garage yep. to talk to the fellow with the condoms. Well, uh, yeah, what's his name again? Is it Matt. Yes, I'll go with that. Matt something or other. Not they went sure. down to the. Uh, he went down to the garage to talk to him. Right. To say that he'd uh, yeah, Jim. Sorry, Jim, Jim Atwood. Uh, just he'd. Uh, Drunk so much tequila. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm like. You tell him what I'm like when I drink tequila. All right. Then. He blacked out. Doesn't remember anything. Drinking tequila is a lot like me. loves a beautiful woman. <laughs> when she's um, tied up. And then he woke up down by the lake. Yes, he did. But that don't mean anything. It doesn't mean a damn thing. Because he could have gone down there with the chef. Yep. New character. Whoop. The chef. Or the outside caterer, whatever you want to call him. So they interviewed him. Yeah. That was... I don't think he looked suspicious in the slightest. Except he went for a fag break around that time. He did. Down by the lake. Yeah, he did. He walked around the lake. It only took him 10 minutes. Well... It's quick. Depends what else he was doing. And it was dark as well, I would imagine. Very dark. Do you think it's more than one person? Oh, it could be. Could be a lot. She could have got herself into something that she didn't want to be in. And things got away from her. Do you know what I mean by that? I think we can we can safely rule out the cabbie. I think making it's, too much of this. I think it's too obvious. I think it's too early and it's too obvious. And he he said after he lied to him, then he came clean and said that he picked up that bloke in the middle of the road. Yeah, and took him back home, didn't he? Yes, but then there was a revelation about his taxi was parked in the car park, all lights out, no one in it, and that was at about half eleven. Again, and another been, line. But he'd been on a date with her. I know. It's not him. It's definitely not him. Right, what did you think it's of the obvious. scene? What did you think of the scene? You know Lenny Henry? Lenny. Lenny. Black his daughter. Legend. His daughter is yeah. obviously working the case, yeah. right? She's hated, by the way. Yeah. Which is, you know, a little, slightly unfair, maybe. Because well, she gets... A bit mouthy, isn't she? she? Gets, yeah, she is mouthy, but she gets hated on so quick. Um... Now, she went to the place, the venue, to get the CCTV footage from the camera. Yeah. And then never spoke of it. No. After that. No. Did you think what I thought? What? That he was on it, doing so dodgy, so she deleted it. Suddenly you think that... Do they Do they even know? Is it Ed, Lenny's character? Ed, it's no, Ed, they don't Ed, know. Ed, Ed Burnett. Not, so they don't know. Be stopped. It'd be stopped. She'd be stopped working on the case. That's bizarre. How do they not know this? Because they've What's got too about? much on their minds, haven't they? I don't care. She's working the Paul case. Paul Hardy's like a shell of a man. <laughs> he is. And he's making his tea in a microwave, he which is, is a, a scandal, by the way. I'm not having that. Tea in a microwave. At least he didn't put a teaspoon in it straight after. It, well, that would have gone bang, wouldn't it, really? It would have been a disaster. It would have been a disaster. So, Were you suspicious of the, the man in the band? The man in the band? No, he was not the in the slightest. One, so it's him then? <laughs> no, Every time I, I'm there's not a suspicious. scene where there's people like, walking around in the background. It's them. But we haven't it's met his bandmates yet. Are we going to meet his bandmates? Please don't. Please don't say that. It's that man in background with dog, it was him. <laughs> it's a suspicious looking dog, that. It was his dog. Um, and oh, then Rob man. And then you've got a Rob man. And then you've got Charlie Higson going to the guy who sold the twine. Oh, yeah, about the what's with the laptop. Who is in his car? Can you delete that stuff off that laptop? What's on the laptop? I want to know what's on the laptop. Would it... Now, it would be the end of Miller if it had anything to do with her son and that other lad, wouldn't it? It won't have to do with it. I don't think so. I think they're too young. I think they're too young. I do. But then a lot of people on Twitter, again, have been speculating that it could be something to do with the taxi driver's stepson. Yeah. Why? What? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I think it's a case oh, this of... Is, this is stretching. I know. Days, I think though. it's a case of he's been cheating on his mother and he wants to get back at him and it, it's making it look I'm presuming all it's like him, him that she slept with him that morning. Do you think so? I'm presuming it is. That's why you give her suspicious looks in the first episode. Well, they've been they've been out on a date driver. once. Yep. Who else did she slept with? I'm thinking it's either him or her husband. Right. What? To, what? That she slept with that morning? Yeah. Right, okay. It's one of them two, I think. It's bizarre why she won't say anything. Why won't she say anything? Because <laughs> it'll be suspicious. But then, like, um, like Hardy said, they're probably going to get his DNA off the sheets anyway. No. Yeah? Yeah. Did she not change the sheets? I don't I have no they idea. They took the sheets away, didn't they? Yeah, they did, they yeah. They took quite a lot away. They did. <laughs> to be fair, they took like four days worth of clothes and all sorts. Um, 
Yeah, it's a strange one. And then obviously there was the scene with Trish and her friend, whose party it was, walking down the beach. Yeah. And they said, well, you wouldn't expect that kind of thing at that kind of party. So that is kind of suggesting that there was plenty of sex at the party. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. I never thought. Well, if it's a sex party, Rob. Exactly. <clears throat> Which then... would make a lot of sense. Their floor. I, I'm just. I'm just thinking of of the faces of Miller and Hardy when they find out oh. that there's more to this party. I don't think on a, on a broader scale. Yeah. Than meets the We're eye. All presuming Can't that. wait to see their faces drop. We're all it presuming will be a picture. that. You, well, we are. Yeah, this we is, are. It's only a presumption. It's. It's our. Turns out they were just there to adopt puppies. It was very, <laughs> very sincere. Yeah. It was lovely. It'd be lovely at the end. Yeah, we all adopted a puppy at the end of the night. And we all went home. Yeah. We have given money to starving children in Africa. <laughs> I think there's more to it. Nice... Of course there's more to it. It's only in episode three. There's another then, seven yet. But then there is the whole confrontation between the lady whose party it was and her husband in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. He never answered that, oh, did he? He wasn't happy about pasta again, worry. Hey, pasta again, you bitch. <laughs> And then, but then obviously she's got to ask him the question. She didn't have to. Well, she did. If there were a rip on your street, was Andrea asking you if it were you? No. Or I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have thought so. Would you, if she had done, would you have answered her? I'd have thrown me pasta dinner at her. Would you have answered her though? Yes. Wouldn't you? No. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course you would. You're going to say no, aren't you? Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> For a start. He did. Yeah. He did. Well, he's had the massive box of condoms, right? But this is Jim, brand. isn't it? That's Jim. Jim exactly. Atwood. It's a common brand. Plus, if there was a lot of sex going on at that part, that, that might not even be the crime scene. Oh, God. It That's, might not. What do you mean? Where? Down by the lake? Down by the river. Socko O'Brien will know that. Socko O'Brien would have sorted that out. He was the forensic gentleman in the first what? episode. We've not seen him since. No, it's a shame. He's good. He's done a flit, Mark. It's him. <laughs> it could be any of them. Was Maybe Socko it was Hardy. Brian. He's oh. so tired. No. He's so tired that he's just wandered out there. And he can't eat. He found a sex party. He's not been eating. He's not eating. He even turned down a scotch egg. You, you wouldn't turn down a scotch egg. My mind. I don't really like them. Oh, I, I like them. They're a bit dry. Yeah, they're all right. Shop bought ones are crap like pot pies. You can't have a pot <laughs> pie from a shop. It's terrible. Um, Butchers are nothing. I did like it, though. Like what? I thought it was a very good episode this it week. It was. It was. And the the like I said to you earlier, there was a line in there where he'd just spoken to the taxi driver's wife, and he said, "It makes me ashamed to be a man." Didn't it? He did. <sighs> it's true. What a line! What a line that was. Her 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 line, you know, was right. It feels like the more we talk to people, the more we rule in. Yeah. It's a scarily wide net. Oh, it is. It it'll is. It'll twist. It'll turn. Because it did in the last one. It, it will. will do in this one. You'll think it's everybody because you did in the last one. Yep. Did you ever think it was Joe Miller? No. Nobody did. That's because Joe Miller wasn't even in it. There's Nobody like two did. Two episodes up till but, then. Yeah, but it started unravelling, didn't it? Mm. But that was the whole fun and game of it, wasn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's now, so... talking of Joe Miller, well, with that, we had the whole thing now of Mark Latimer. He's getting his back up now. He's getting his back up again about Danny. It looks like Beth and their daughter, Chloe, or Chloe, um, have, they, they, yeah, they have obviously kind of... You'd have thought he'd be right up for a sex party, him. Let's put it in a corner. Because he Mark? was putting himself about in the season one, wasn't he? Yes, he was. No, who with? Her. Was there a lady who worked at a cafe? No, she was staying in the hotel. Wasn't she a journalist who was staying in the oh, hotel or something? Yeah, she might have been a journalist. Blondie. Hotel, definitely hotel, wasn't it? They were having it away with her. He was, wasn't he? I can't remember. While Danny got killed in that car park on Cliff. Try to remember what she looked like. I can't remember. Yes, because didn't he have a meeting with her in a car? So it was like 100 yards away and from it was where kind Danny of, died. Which is why he's got a big mm. thing going on in his mind that it was his it's fault. Sheffield. Once he finds out, Reverend knows where he is, he'll kill him. Oof. He's going to go mental. Um, but then obviously Mark Latimer wants payback. Mm. He wants to find Joe Miller. Mm-hmm. Are we are we looking at another appearance Joe of Miller's Joe Miller? Back. This is coming back, isn't it? It might be him. It might be him. It can't be Joe Miller. The taxi driver said, towards the end of the episode, that he'd picked somebody up, a fare that he wasn't meant to go he wasn't meant to collect the fare. It was a guy on the road, waved him down, 
who was the guy? Suddenly, who was the guy? Where did you take him? Could you take us back? I don't believe him. I don't believe a word of it because he, he were laying it on thick. He were, he were panting. He was just putting a condom off his penis. <laughs> <laughs> I he don't were, remember that. He was he were trying to make out that this bloke were there and he were. Um, <laughs> want me, governor? I never touched her. <laughs> it was the bloke I picked up. Oh, it, it was Nigel. It, it was Nigel. It was Nigel and Pauline Quirk. Oh, you never touched her. Well, what happened to him? What happened to her, no, even? Pauline Quirk, Pauline she left Quirk. town, didn't she? Did she? That, didn't that, what, what On that skateboard. To, 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 didn't that person pay her to move, leave town? Oh, oh God, rubbish. You. All she did was walk around with her dog. Yeah. Because she, she had she had the skateboard hidden, didn't she? That's right. Do you remember what was the whole lot about? Look, we're not talking about that. No, I know. It's, it's all coming back, though. All coming back. To- but it is. It seems like there's quite a lot of stuff going on. So much. And it's not yep. just like... The new story with with Trish, this is look. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can never get it right. It's back. She's up there. Look, look at her looking sad. Oh yeah. It's not just that, and then they bring all this. So there's also Mike Latimer and, and Beth and all that. Yep. They've tied that in quite well. It's quite clever how they've done that. Yeah, it is. But now also, uh, the three youths, the boys, turned up to look for the boys. Hardy's daughter. Yep. What's she well, getting up to? Before, this is a rapist on the loose. Oof. It's the last thing you want, isn't it? It is, absolutely right. So, Miller's son's involved, because he's been watching the sex tape online. Yep. And he's Hardy's worried that his daughter's up to no good with... The boys have been for a... Who's in the part... Who, who's in the video, Mark? Who is it? Yeah, who's in the video? In the video, it's uh, Lenny Emery and Joe Miller. And Hardy's daughter. <laughs> oh. It's, it was it was the little bit where he goes um, he goes oh she'll be down the park and he goes the park she'll be at school <laughs> I, I liked it when he just He's comes brilliant. out of his office and just goes Miller <laughs> and he just walks off brilliant love it eat your stupid scotch egg <laughs> yeah he is excellent it's so entertaining it's such a shame that I don't know how it gets that balance right. That whole, it's dark, but then there's some comedic moments in it. There has to and be. it's so clever. It's it so well written. It has to be, because it can't all be dark. They've got to have some light. Yeah. And even though it's a right miserable bastard, it's not about that. It's about his... Because them two are totally opposite, aren't they, you see? Yeah. He's so serious and wants it done, and you know he's obviously taking this a bit personal. And she's very light-hearted anyway, yeah. isn't she? And she wants to be everyone's friend. So it's them two. It's not just the light and dark of the... <clears throat> what they're talking about or what they're investigating is the light and dark of them two and like, how they are with each other. When they were talking to the caterer and mm. she, she'd she said, oh, we could have something to eat. And he was <laughs> like, sweet and she was we're like, running late. We've got a job no, to do. Mella. And then, <laughs> have a scotch egg. And then right at the end of the conversation, he went, do you want to stay for something to eat? And he looked, he just glanced at her and he went, no. Her face lit up. <laughs> <laughs> Started looking at what to eat. No. <laughs> eat your silly scotch egg. <laughs> we're going. Yeah, I just think his lines are fantastic. Really, really good. I don't, I don't know how they get away with having so much going on. Uh, but like I said, that's that that's what makes it, I think. I because it is know. everybody. It's, it is, it's it everyone. Is absolutely everybody. What did Lenny say? She's not that kind of woman. She's not that kind of, no, she's not the kind of woman that this type of thing happens to. Yeah. Her. And Miller said, what sort of woman? What sort of woman's that? She's not <laughs> Scottish. That's Hardy, that's isn't it? Hardy. Sorry. Sorry. Miller! I'm obsessed. Miller! Um, sorry, Ed Burnett. I keep calling him Lenny Henry. Sorry, Ed I do apologise. Ed Burnett, yes. Is he involved? I. He doesn't drink. I don't think he is, but then. He couldn't tell you. He couldn't tell him where he was. Oh, you can't tell. Yeah, well, he disappeared for a bit, didn't he? he and he's not a drinker. He, he said he was. He's fully aware of what he's doing. He'd had a fight with someone. I think there could be a lot of people involved in this, you know. I think it's more than oh. he's making out. Did you feel sorry for the lawyer who turned up at Mark Latimer's house? <laughs> and looked ginger, completely like a, a rabbit in the headlights, didn't he? Would he? do, wouldn't you? <laughs> do you not know about this? Oh, shall I come back at a later time? <laughs> uh-huh. You poor bastard, run! This is to find a balance with that. Not spending too much time on it. We've been there. We've done that. Yep, yep. <clears throat> but it's still quite interesting. Oh, to it is. Go. It's really good. Love it. Yeah, love it. A lot of people think Joe's coming back into it. I agree. Uh, Joe will have to come back into it. Yep. I really don't want Miller's son to be involved in any of this. I really hope. <laughs> that he's just watching stupid porn and there's just nothing in that at all. Maybe that's one of them things and it where is they're early. trying to 
they try to lead us on yeah, well, a different path. That's the that. whole taxi driver thing. I, I think that it's too early in the story. There's going to be something maybe to it. Maybe, I just don't know. It's not the taxi driver. They're making too much of yeah, the taxi I agree. driver. It's not him. I agree. It can't be him. Who left the flowers on a doorstep, Mark? Was that her husband? Lenny Emery. Was it Lenny? Lenny. <laughs> Was it, what did it say in the card? Sorry. Did it just say sorry? Or thinking of you. Sorry. Thinking, thinking of you. Thinking of you. Right, okay. Okay, it could have been anybody then, couldn't it? It's tense. But then if it was a friend, she'd have stayed, wouldn't she? For a brew, maybe. Yeah. I think it were her husband. I don't. Don't you? No. no. Oh, and then there was a, another text as well. What did that say? Um, they got it in their bag, didn't they? Oh, that's right. It was in the, the yeah, evidence bag. That said, bag. I'm sorry. Did that it? That said, I'm sorry. And I think the flower said, thinking of you. A lot of people on Twitter saying, can you withhold a number? I don't think you can on a text. A lot of people didn't think you could either. Well, you've got to give all these things some creative yeah, you license, have. don't you? I agree. Yeah. If it said the name on it, it'd be pointless, wouldn't it? Brian. <laughs> Socko <laughs> Brian. <laughs> it's the forensic guy, Socko Brian. Fucking Socko Sorry, Brian. Sorry, Trish. Brian. And, uh, what about the priest? Can I have me twine back? I'm not fishing. <laughs> Um, the priest the priest is dodgy I don't know the priest didn't you think the priest looked dodgy in the very first series the priest looked but dodgy it, all the time but he was getting accused of it wasn't he in the original but then, one do you remember last week I said that the what about grandad the, was it grandad oh the grandad oh he's got it in for everyone <laughs> it's grandad it's not same round here anymore one last one last fling before he cacks it <laughs> he, he, I don't know do you think there's going to be any more there's going to be at least seven more, yeah. Seven more. Is it? Is there ten in a season? Or is no, it eight? I, I didn't mean episodes. I know you didn't. I'm being facetious. All oh, right, okay. You don't think there's going to be any more? <sighs> it's breaking hardy thinking this something's well, going to happen. someone said to us there's in a the YouTube comments. There's a monster Miller. <laughs> someone said in the YouTube comments last week that... <gasps> Leave a comment. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Um, that he's going he's gonna to die. Oh, don't do that. Maybe of exhaustion or something like that. Well, he's got yeah, a weak he heart, hasn't he? He's got a weak heart. He he maybe he'll have a heart attack. He has got a weak heart. Someone said he's going to die. And maybe that's his way out of it. Because he doesn't want to do any more. Why didn't he want to do any more? It's ace. Oh, it is ace. I think, was it something to do with the whole secrecy around the whole series? Yeah, so. And it said they couldn't they couldn't film it in like a chronological order because people would know what's happened. They must. You see how many endings have they filmed? I'll bet you any money, everyone who they've uh, interviewed so far, they've yep. done an ending where it's them. Probably. <laughs> So that's what they did with the Joe Miller thing, didn't they? Yeah. They, they, yeah. They filmed both endings where he was guilty and not guilty. I love hearing those. And even those. they didn't know which I, one they were putting out. That's the bit I love. When they, th- you'll find out that all the cast have got together and watched it in a room as it's aired yeah. because they don't know how it ends, which must be amazing. That must be brilliant. Oh, yeah. Because you're, you're part of it, but you yeah. can watch it as a fan. That's brilliant. I wonder if that's what they've done with this. Yeah, well, I think that's, that's it. A lot of people, they've done well to keep it quiet then. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. Brilliant. All right. Well, I suppose we're going to wrap it up for episode three because we could just talk all day about this by the sounds of things. It's just a web of sin. (laughs) Lie. Please like the video. Please leave a comment. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us where you think it's going to go. Tell us how wrong we are. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Because we might be missing something as well if we miss something out that you want us to talk about. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like, subscribe, share it around. Yes, um, do all them things, Yeah, please. And it's going to be back next week. So, so are we, I'm afraid. Thanks ever so much. We'll see you later. Freak of Ghouls Podcast. Freak of Ghouls Podcast. Freak of Ghouls.